Welcome to Tech Notice. Have you ever noticed these little lights in the back over there? Look at that. It's this tiny little thing. Hello. This is called a newer SL12. It's this mini LED light built in battery. You can put some different gels and things on. Really cool magnetic front. That, that's what I'm using over there. Absolutely nothing to do with the video, but today we're gonna compare these two condenser microphones. Both of these are large condenser microphones. Now this one over here is by Newer as well. They obviously sent me this microphone and that light as well. If you wanna check them out, the link in the description, maybe some discount codes as well. But I can say whatever I want, and I do. Okay, believe me, I will do that. Thanks Newer, by the way, for sending these. Newer NW7000 microphone. And this over here is the SEX1 microphone this one over here costs when you get with the studio bundle you get some stuff with it it's around 300 dollars or so this one over here with the arm with the puff filter with like this little thing on top of the microphone costs only 30 dollars now can you tell the difference is there a difference let's find out just pay attention on which microphones I'm using and which sound is coming through. Just check on the bottom on the video over here. There's going to be a text. So just make sure you know which microphone is coming through so you can make up your mind which one is better. So I'm not going to apply any effects on any of these uh, microphones. But uh, at the moment, as you can hear, you're going to come through the SE Electronics S1, sorry, X1. Okay, this is what the microphone sounds like literally no effects maybe i'm gonna do a little bit of leveling so both of the microphones sound a little bit of the same like level so one is not quieter but at the moment what i can hear is um everything's very crispy there's a lot of lows and highs it's just very you know that's what a large condenser microphone should sound like very clear very nice sounding microphone now you can actually hear the USB microphone. So this is what the newer sounds like. Okay, can you hear the difference? This is what it is. Newer NW7000 microphone. So what you get with this, hey, that light just died. Okay, it's, the battery has actually lasted for quite a while. It's interesting that it just died on this. I've used it for around five hours now maybe, around that, don't know exactly, maybe three something like that pretty good actually for what it can last so let me put that to charge no maybe later shall we finish this video yeah let's do that sorry guys you're gonna have to uh, deal with that dead looking plant now it's, it's not it's not dead it's not alive either it's it's fake basically this microphone what you get with it is this arm over here so that's uh, like a movable arm so i can switch it around you know move it closer move it a little bit away then you're gonna get this little wind puff thing over here if you don't know what that is that if you do a lot of peas or air comes out from your mouth when you're pronouncing things like peter patter peter patter peter what's the what's the thing as well peter piper said peter piper something where's the pack of pickled pipers Damn it. anyway if i take this off have a look at this now if i do peter piper peeper piper can you hear that air over there when i put it back it's not over there. You get this little muff if you want. You can put this on the microphone. I wouldn't do that because it just... If you're inside and there's no wind, I wouldn't do that. Just use this. And you get this shockproof mount over here. So if you... It's not going to actually make a sound because I'm not touching the microphone. It isolates the microphone from the stand, which is pretty cool. Okay. So can you hear a difference? So let me tell you what I hear. So now if I'm listening back to just the microphone that I've recorded, SC Electronics, then I can easily see that or hear that it's very clear in terms of just the noise. There is no shh, it's just clear. It just sounds like very, very high quality and very, sounds like a studio or podcast microphone. It's actually a vocal microphone, like a professional grade, um, how you record vocals, things like that. So it's very clear in terms of the noise and things like that which is cool. So just listening to this microphone over here, it's sounding quite good actually. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's not as clean on noise as the X1 over here. Th you can clearly hear some noise as soon as you turn the microphone on, it's just the character of the microphone. But you've got to remember that this microphone is probably one tenth of the price of this one. You can hear that the highs are not as clear, 
and it's just a little bit more muffled so it's not as clear of a sound as you could get from the X1. So let's talk about some of the bad sides of the microphones. So this X1 over here, if you get the studio bundle, I'm going to leave some links in, in the description if you want to check it out. But this comes with like this wind puff filter over here, as well as the shock mount over here with the tripod mount. Sorry about my, you know, fixing how I fix this microphone over here because my mic stand was a little bit broken so I had to use a C stand plus the mic stand arm over here to get the microphone over here to get this video done. Okay. It's quite heavy on the top over here so if you're using mic stands or things like that, if the mic stand, stand is not new and the actual joints are not able to tighten itself very very well it's probably going to start pulling down because it's quite a heavy setup over here that's why i'm using the c-stand because i can clamp it in and tighten it and it's not going to move anywhere another bad side about this microphone is that if you want to use this microphone you're going to have to have a usb interface at the moment i am using this um, zoom h5 at the moment over here which is pretty cool. I didn't know I can do that. So basically this is a recorder, but I can also use this as a USB interface. So it becomes uh, like a sound card, basically. XLR comes onto the H5 from the microphone. It needs a phantom power or 48 volts of phantom power because the actual diaphragm of the microphone is so high. It needs a little bit more power to actually get the vibrations registered and things like that. So that's why you're going to need some kind of audio interface that can produce that phantom power. So, and then through the USB, it goes to my Mac over here and it's recording on the garage band at the moment, which is very, very cool, easy to do. Bad sides about this is that it's probably just a little bit cheap and you're just going to have to deal with the sound quality. But the rest of the thing is very easy to use. So it comes with this little cable, as you can see, this blue cable that's attached over here. That goes straight to the USB port of the computer, and that's it. You don't need to worry about any audio interfaces. Just plug it into your computer, and that is it. If you're using Mac, it's probably even easier because Mac usually tries to solve the drivers for you. If you're on Windows, you're gonna just have to maybe have to fiddle around quite easily, but there's an instruction manual that comes with it. You can easily follow it very, very easily easily follow it very easily what am i talking about here i would say that it's quite a good budget version actually if you want to do some kind of podcast you could easily attach a little a noise reduction as i can show you over here now it's road noise reduction uh, as well so if you know how to edit audio you could get quite a good audio sounding quality out from this one already but you just have to uh, you know kind of play around with it a little bit it's not as good out of the box kind of sounding thing and actually I can hear a clear difference between the 330 microphone uh, but it looks pretty cool if you want to record something and you're on a budget it's definitely very very good you could use this to record your um, what's it called them voiceovers if you want also if you can record a little bit closer to the microphone obviously it's gonna sound a little bit better because you just you know, get a little bit less of the room sound and more of your, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, your own sound anyway sounds a little bit better. Okay, another thing that's different is that there's no switches on this microphone over here, but on the X1 over here, there is a minus 10 dB switch over here and also a low cut switch over here as well so who are these microphones for i think this one over here is if you want to record some podcasts or something some voiceovers and you're on a budget maybe a youtuber that's the microphone for you if you want to record some really good studio sound on st studio things maybe some guitars or vocals then this is a great microphone over here it's going to record them very clean audio but you need some audio interfaces and this probably is maybe one of the first investments in your studio. Okay, that's it for the audio rant from me today. So we've talked about these microphones. Just remember the links for these are in the description if you want to pick either one of these out. Okay, guys, let me know if you heard the difference between these microphones. Is there a massive difference? Can you hear a difference? What do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm going to meet you in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching, adios.